Hi, my name is Taylor Tinkham. I'm a chalk artist in Minneapolis and the creator of Cemental Break. And today I'm going to show you how to draw a milkweed plant to encourage all of your neighbors to plant milkweed. You'll need your favorite sidewalk chalk. If you don't have these exact colors, it's no problem at all. You get to be creative and um, use whatever colors call to you. I have knee pads on today. Um, but you could grab a towel or maybe a gardening pad for your knees if that's something that you need. There are over a hundred types of milkweed, so you can certainly draw whatever type you have growing. Um, I'm going to draw the one that I see on all of my walks around my neighborhood. And it has beautiful purple flowers, but we're going to start with the stem. So I have a green here for my green stem. It's a little bit curved. And what I noticed about these plants um, is that the leaves don't tend to start until a little bit, a little ways up on the stem. And they tend to point up and they're kind of like an oval with a point. And then they always have a leaf right across from it as well. So they don't alternate, they're right opposite of each other. So I'm just gonna make these leaves all the way up to the top of the stem. The vein that runs down the middle of the leaves is sometimes almost the same pink or purple color as the flowers. So I'm gonna choose a pink or purple that I like and make that vein right down the middle. And the flowers have, they're tiny, tiny, and they have five petals, and then a little bit of white in the middle. So I'm gonna grab my white. And it's hard to make these tiny flowers, but what's nice is a lot of people know how to draw a five-pointed star. And so you could do that for your flower, and you could put a little dot in the middle. Or you could draw each petal individually. And what's really fun about these is they kind of form a ball. So I'm just going to draw five lines for each petal, really nice and close to each other. And then to make it feel a little bit more like a ball, it's going to seem like I have petals coming from the other sides, filling in with a few. And then I'll take my white and I'll go into the middle here and just make little dot through the middle of the flower. And what's interesting about milkweed is that it doesn't always have a flower right at the top. Sometimes they're kind of in between leaves. Sometimes there are three or four of these balls of flowers kind of dispersed throughout the plant. So you don't have to put one at the top. And then something that I also wanted to include because I just think they're so fun is the kind of package that the the flowers come out of, which I think look like little elf hats. And they start with this little curvy top, and then they get pretty wide at the bottom, and they come up to kind of a point. And they're a little bit spiny. So you could draw some little spines in there. Um, and those appear between the leaves as well. So now I'm gonna draw out our message about why milkweed is so important. Plant milkweed, grow monarchs. I'll write that in my Spanish translation as well. Make sure everyone gets to read it. And then next to my writing, I'll just add a couple of our flowers, maybe in a bigger form, so that people can see them more close up. There are five petals with our white center, and then I'll draw our leaves as well with our kind of pink vein going down the middle. And there you go, so that'll encourage everyone in your neighborhood to plant some milkweed for our monarch friends. Thank you for celebrating monarchs with us. 
I hope you enjoyed drawing with me today and um, I'm looking forward to seeing your milkweed drawings around Minneapolis.